Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the geometry series. In this particular video, we are going to talk about creation of helix and torus geometry in Comsol Multiphysics. This will be a very simple video. However, we are creating all the videos related to geometry so that it, it, it develops a repository and if you watch the entire playlist that builds your concept of Comsol geometry creation. I'll put the link of the entire playlist in the description box so that you can follow the link and watch all other videos. Before I start today's discussion, I would like to make an announcement. We have initiated a service where we help you developing your research model. If you would like to avail this service, then write to us in the email ID given in the description box and we will give you a video call or a set of video calls and will help you developing your model. So let us move ahead with today's topic. Here we have taken a 3D geometry and as we always do, we right click on geometry and if you go to more primitives, then you can see there are different primitive objects. Those are given by default like uh, very simple geometries uh, like cone, ellipsoid and you have an option of helix. So if you click here, so everything is enlisted here. So by default, some thing will come automatically. So you just have to click on build selected. If you click on it, you will see your helix geometry is created. Now you can actually manipulate the thing so that you can alter this particular helix. First of all, here the number of turns is equal to three. So you can see one, two, three. So we can make it as many as we want, say we want to make it 6. So if you click, then it will become 6. You can see you have 6 helix. Similarly, uh, the pitch distance in the axial axis can be changed. Like uh, this is the pitch distance, say we want to make it 0.6, so the double. So you can see it has actually changed. So Based on our requirement, we have to change tune this parameter. So I have talked about the pitch distance. I have talked about number of turns and you can understand the major axis is the radius is the radius of this helix. So if I change it, you can realize suppose I make it 0.5 that is half of the initial one. So you see the outer, I mean the circle radius of the helix decreases and this is the minor radius or the radius of the tube. So if I increase it, you can realize I make it 0.2 from 0.1. So it has increased its, its dia. So you can actually play around with all those options so that you can create your required geometry. Now this is very simple again, the chirality, this one is right handed. If I do left handed, the chirality will change. So you can realize it from here. You can also change the orientation of this particular one. So for changing the orientation, what you need to do? First of all, I would like to tell that this is now aligned in the Z axis. We can align in different axis as well. Say we click on Y axis and build selected so now it is the axis in the y aligned to the y axis this direction now what if i want to make it align with any arbitrary direction for that you have those options say in the cartesian coordinate you can actually choose the uh, coordinate so that we can actually change it Suppose I want to make it diagonally. So if you make all the points one, so then it will be diagonally placed. You can see this is diagonally placed. So you can play around with this values so that you can orient your helix as per your requirement. Similarly, you can choose the option of spherical coordinate and you can actually change this theta and phi angle so that your orientation changes. Suppose I arbitrarily choose theta is equal to 90. So this is how it changes. So 
you have multiple options for tuning all those things you can actually tune it and you can have the required geometry so this is a very simple thing uh, this is about helix so we have talked about it let us disable it and now there is another option torus so that will also be given in the more primitives so this is torus and this is also very helpful because in uh, some of the cases we need to have this kind of geometry so i have just taken this torus option and clicked on the build selector so this is very simple as you can realize the measure radius is the radius of this if we increase it the radius will change the outer radius and this is the radius of the tube if we reduce it say 0.25 so the tube radius will be reduced so you can simply create this kind of torus using this primitive so these two options are very useful again you can change the position as I have mentioned earlier if I change this coordinates the position will change initially let us align it now let us see suppose I change this coordinate so this is actually position so the position is changing you can see it has elevated in the z axis because we have taken z equal to 1 uh, we can again place it according to the axis we want now it is placed in z axis that means uh, the axial direction is in the z axis if you make it in the y axis then the axial direction would be y axis so you can see uh, the torus is placed like this way and if you uh, cross the torus then it will be in the y direction so the normal direction is the y direction similarly you can choose coordinates in the Cartesian axis again I want to make it uh, placing in the diagonal axis so I am making all the things one so you can see it is placed diagonally similarly you will be having options for choosing theta and phi by changing your theta and phi you can actually change the position so I'll show you in the specific spherical coordinate suppose I change the angle to say 90 degree you can see the orientation will change so those are the options you can play around I guess this was a very simple technique and you understood all of this today I stop here before I end the video I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel so that we get more motivation to upload videos